Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the same tree problem using iteration. Last time I showed you how to solve it using recursion. Now we're going to see an iterative solution. So given two binary trees, write a function to check if they are the same or not. Two binary trees are the same if they are structurally identical and the nodes have the same value. Okay, so as you can see, what we have to do here is use a data structure explicitly because recursion uses a stack implicitly. So we can use either a stack or a queue to compare the corresponding nodes in the first tree with the corresponding nodes in the second tree. So we can, for example, use a queue and have a while loop and we compare the corresponding node in P with the corresponding node in Q. If they don't match, then it's not, they are not the same tree. If one node in P, if the corresponding node in P is not present in, in Q, then they're not the same tree. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to write the code. So first I'm gonna have a Q of pointed to node Q gets a value of new linked list. Then I'm gonna say Q dot offer P Q that offer Q. Okay. So then I'm gonna say while not Q that is empty. Okay. So I'm gonna have this while loop, and this is gonna run as long as there there are nodes to check in the queue. So if I break out of the loop, I will return true because I'm gonna set it up in such a way that if I break out of the loop, everything was okay. So first I wanna check. I wanna get those values. So point it to node, you can say the first gets a value of q.pol. So I dq from the queue to get the first node. And for the second, I do the same thing, q.pol. All right, so now I want to check. I want to say if first equals equals null and second equals equals null, continue. Go to the next iteration because if this is null and this is null. I want to continue to the next iteration because if there are no more nodes in the queue, that means that everything was okay, so I return true. But if there are more nodes in the queue, that means that I have to continue checking the other nodes. So if I continue checking the other nodes, I go to the next iteration. So I can say if first equals equals null or second equals equals null. That means that they don't have the same structure. For example, here, if I'm at this position here and first is null, but second is not null, that means that they don't have the same structure because I'm missing the corresponding node in first. I have it in second, but I don't have it here. So this is the case I'm handling in this place. So I can immediately return false. Now I need to handle the other case. Let's say that I'm comparing uh, first is the one at the, in this position and second is the one in this position. If they don't have the same, the same value, then I know that this is not the same tree. They're not the same tree, so I can return false. If first that value is not equal to second that value, return false. And now I need to I need to enqueue the values in the correct order because I want to enqueue them in such a way that I, when I dequeue, I get the nodes that are corresponding to each other. So I can say that queue that offer first that left queue that offer second that left 
as you can see in this case I you know the queue is for, is FIFO so first in first out so if I put two I put first that left I want to compare with second that left so when I DQ they will be popped they will be dequeued in this order two and then one so I will compare the corresponding nodes and in the same manner I have to enqueue queue that offer first that right queue that offer second that right so first that right and then second that right and because the queue is five of first in first out when I DQ I will be dequeuing the corresponding nodes and I will be comparing them so now I'm gonna run the code it seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So if you like the video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.